the Greek root you. Okay, so straight to the point. You in Greek uh, meant good. You know, basically that's it. It's the opposite of kakos. You know, um, of course, this is not the topic of the video. If you want a video about that, please comment down below. Uh, but you have, for example, kakos in uh, cacophony, you know? Cacophony is like uh, when you say something and the sounds don't, uh, don't fit well, right? Okay, but you is the opposite of kakos in Greek. Uh, and uh, maybe the most, uh, most common word that uh, you guys know with you is, uh, let me see here, this word here, euthanasia, right? This is how you pronounce it, euthanasia. And basically it means good, and then we have euthanasia. We have a, a minor Greek god called Thanatos, right? Thanatos, uh, which was the god... Uh, one of the minor gods of death, all right? Remember phonetical transcript? One day I'll record videos about those, but I'm just keeping uh, the phonetical transcript here so you can start getting used to it, right? So, Thanatos, Thanatos. And then, of course, you must have uh, realized by now that it's very close to Thanos, which is that guy in the Avenger movies. I have to be honest with you guys. Um, I think it's kind of not excellent, you know? Uh, movies for me are divided in must not, don't, may, should, and must, right? Uh, if you're interested in that kind of classification, I can give you examples in another video. But the point is, Infinity War, in my opinion, is like a may, maybe should, because of the last scene that is awesome, right? Uh, the, the rest of the movie, I, I don't know, I don't know. Guys, I, I don't know if you know that, but uh, originally, uh, Thanos was not supposed to kill everybody because of that reason. Because, uh, for those of you who have watched the movie, you will remember that he had a very utilitarian uh, reason for killing half of the population of the entire universe. And the reason why was, oh, there won't be enough food in place and resources for everybody, so I'm going to kill half of them so people will be happier. It doesn't make any sense, you know, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, if he had all that power, I don't know, why couldn't he, like, make everybody, you know, happy by giving them food and etc. Originally speaking, even though in the comics uh, it's a little bit, uh, it's made a little bit teenage-like because he had a, he has a real affair with death, right? Uh, but it's much better than the movie, even even though it's a little bit uh, superficial, because the idea of the real Thanos is he loves death itself, all right? So nothing else could have given him. Uh, the kind of uh, satisfaction that killing half of the of uh, the entire population of the universe gave him, right? And if you think about it, then you have this nice deeper image of, uh, you know, death is completely fair, death is not prejudiced, death is something we cannot explain, and usually what we can't explain attracts us, you know? Like you see this beautiful person, and you look at the person, and you say, I don't know why, but this person is so beautiful, and you get attracted to love. We can't explain love, right? So think about it. The image of uh, him getting in love with death, and uh, because we can't explain death, because death doesn't uh, have a logical reason, to choose people, and then if you connect that idea with the last scene, then in my opinion, you can have something really, really beautiful. Of course, the movie is fun, you know, but uh, it could have been a must for sure. And in my opinion, it was like may, maybe should, uh, 
because of the last scene. But that's not the point, right? The point is that Thanatos is uh, a minor god of death, okay? Uh, and uh, so when we talk about euthanasia, you know, your dog has cancer and uh, it is about to die, it is suffering a lot, and then you go there and give uh, it a beautiful death, all right? After that, we have uh, this other word that I'm sure you were, you may be familiar with, that is euphemism. Uh, pronunciation note here, guys, we say euphemism, right? Zam here, never euphemism, as many Brazilians try to say it. And I'm talking about Brazilians with very good uh, English. Okay, so basically, to simplify things, usually, euphemism here would be like talk, speak, let's put it this way for now, and euphemism is when you say something in a beautiful way, all right? For example, relieve for being or going to the bathroom, okay? Relieve, I'm going to relieve myself. Or, for example, sleep with a person, right? She slept with him in the office, and it's strange. But, uh, you know, they didn't sleep, they didn't go there and, uh, you know, close their eyes and slept. You know what it, they did, right? So, a beautiful way of saying that, so, euphemism, all right? Uh, is to say that they slept together. They didn't have departed for for people who died. Or one that I, I like a lot is let you go. You know, so you are a shitty employee. Uh, I want to kick you out of my company and then I call you and say, look, I'm very sorry to say, but I'll have to let you go. And the impression is not that I'm kicking your butt out of my company. The impression is you know, this, this job is like, uh, I don't know, a cage for your huge potential of being unemployed, you know? And you are here trapped in this company, getting your salary and your paycheck every month. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open the cage and let you go. You know, if your boss tells you you are fired this way, you, you are almost happy. You are saying, yeah, thank you. Now I can live my life. I can be hungry on the streets, right? And uh, another one, uh, another uh, euphemism is self-service uh, for single people who want pleasure. I don't know if you got it, you know what I mean? Okay, going on, going on uh, then we have, for example, this name, okay? This name is Eunice. Eunice is a personal name, but it's a, it's a beautiful name. Uh, it means good, and then Nis comes from a, a, a change in the name of a Greek god, or sorry, it, it's a goddess, the goddess of victory, that is Nike, okay? So it means beautiful victory, beautiful victory here. Uh, just one thing, guys, mm, most people, and even natives, mispronounce this, right? They say Nike. And uh, the logic is the logic of the magic E, okay? Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check some, some of uh, the previous videos. There is a video about magic E. I know I should put cards and etc. so you could just click, but I still don't know how to use this, this thing, you know, YouTube and stuff. But in the future, if I learn, I'll, I'll know how to put cards. If you, don't, if you don't find the video, send a message. You know, come in there, I'll guide you uh, through there. Okay, so the, logically, you know, just like you have a bike, okay, or hike. Uh, so the logic is, you're going to pronounce this as the name, I, I, and you're not going to pronounce the E. So you should say, uh, Nike. But no, not actually. Remember, English is a mess. So it's Nike. All right, Nike. Uh, it's a side observation. It's because it is the name of a Greek goddess, you know. And then the rules change when you're talking about a Greek goddess. Um, if you want more information, again, comment on that, guys. I I'm saying comment and ask because you know I'm very digressive, and if I start going after 
all of those options I open in my videos, you know, each video is going to be like five hours and a half. Okay, so Nike, all right, and then you have Euphony. That basically you're talking about beautiful sounds, all right, because of course here you have phony, that is uh, phonos, and then you have phonetic, for example, that has to do with sound, right? Uh, one that is beautiful as well is eudaimonia, eudaimonia, which is a very interesting concept uh, from uh, Plato's, Aristotle's, and Socrates' uh, philosophy. Basically, this is it, 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 it is translated as happiness, you know, but it's a very specific kind of happiness. Each one of us ha has uh, something inside that is our diamond. Be careful, guys, because this word later on was translated because uh, because of the Bible, it was translated as demon, and then people uh, think uh, it's the same word. They come from the same place, but for for Plato, is something completely different. But basically, you have a good demon inside. You are in peace with your demon, which is a very interesting topic. Again, comment on that if you want more information. So, basically we are talking about a good diamond, okay? A good demon, but again, it's not the demon like the devil, Lucifer, the bad one, you know, fallen angel, Satan, and etc. Uh, and then you have eukaryote, which is that thing in biology, you know, cells are prokaryotes and eukaryotes and basically eukaryotes are the ones who have uh, nucleus and you know biology stuff but uh, what is important here you is good and karyote is uh, not you know because if you analyze the cell you can see some you know uh, like the nucleus of the cell and in prokaryotes you, you can't so oh by the way uh, karyote gives us the word in Portuguese caroço, all right? So it's a nut, so you have a good nut inside, okay? And this word that is not a, uh, such a beautiful one, that is eugenic. Eugenic is the kind of science Hitler, for example, would follow. That is, you are looking for the good genes. And how do you look for the good genes? You eliminate the ones you think are bad genes, like the Jews, and you make uh, the good genes, you know, grow, of course, the Aryan race, okay? Guys, I know it's a lot of things, but this is a video, right? This is not, uh, uh, you know, a person, you're not here, so you can go back uh, and you can uh, just ask me if you have any questions regarding all of that.